Weekly All Access to Shigar Brianna, and we are here live today with the one and only One Play. Yeah. How's it going? I'm chilling. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. Welcome to Hip Hop Weekly. Finally here. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Introduce yourself. Um, One Play. Uh, a lot of people used to know me as DJ Playboy, but uh, it's One Play now on a new journey as an artist, no longer a DJ. Okay. All right. So, um, tell us about your just journey into you know being in the music music industry and how long you've been in the industry. Um. Well, I would say I've probably been in the industry at least like probably like three years. That was like. As far as being a DJ, not being an artist, just um behind a uh, major artist and um just going around and seeing how everything was touring, all of that. So, mm -hmm. um yeah, I've probably been in that as far as that part of the game for like three years. Okay, um, who are some of the uh, artists that you've worked with? Um, um, well, the major artists that um I was able to break and um and go on the road and everything was Day Day. Okay. Um. Yeah. That was a that was a good run. Um. Like it. It taught me a lot though. It let me see. Um. A lot of what goes on, and it helped me like know as far as like how I should move with my with my project and my music. So. Okay. All right. So you pretty much you said put people out. You you put out day day. Um. Who else have you you know? Um. A lot of artists that yeah. I work with because I came out of a club called a uh, club cure. When I was DJing, so I was known from DJing. I was probably there for like maybe like eight years. Mm -hmm. So I met like a lot of the a lot of like the local hood stars from from you name it, uh, from Schoolie to to really everybody. Like Club the Cure is slick, legendary in a way. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, um, so I mean it's countless names of of who I done dealt with. It's kind of hard for me to just go back exactly exactly because a lot of people just used to come through there. So just always mutual respect and love and business at the end of the day. Okay, because um, a lot of people um, that are up and coming artists. Um, are interested in you know having DJs get their music out? Are right. you open to doing that? Because a lot of people want to know. What you mean? As far as like you know, people that are up and coming, artists that are up and coming, mm -hmm. they want to know how to get their music out. Do you you know? I guess what's the process of you process of discovering um, somebody or and saying, oh, okay, we need to get this person out. Right. Oh uh, well, I mean, the process of it really is you can't be scared to go out. You can't mm -hmm. be scared. Um to interact and connect with the DJ. I mean, it just, and it also depends on your music too, because mm -hmm. I mean, DJs have a, if you, you're a DJ, you kind of have some type of ear for, for what sound is out right now or what's going to work. So if you're not hitting that DJ with something that he can work with, then I mean, it might be a harder process, but if the music is there, then it might be an easier process, but it's all about just like I said, connecting with the DJ, but you also have to make sure that, I mean, it's an understanding because a DJ doesn't work for free right? at all. Like, I mean, for me being a DJ and me turning into an artist, I, I know for a fact that I couldn't just get anywhere for free. I had, I had to had pay my fee way. attached. Yes, had to. Right, right. But I, I was happy to pay that fee, though, because, right. I mean, I know, I know how it is. Right. I know exactly how it is. Right. Okay, so I guess you being a DJ, is that what drew you closer to becoming an artist? Actually, I was an artist before I was a DJ. Okay. But I just felt like at the time, like my music wasn't, I wasn't ready. I just, well, I think that I wasn't in the right era of music at that time. Like, you know what I mean? Music changes all the time. So being the fact that this era that we in now was a little bit more of my speed. So I was able to, you know what I mean? Say whatever I want to say. And I mean, or just think off top of like, just how I talk, period. You know what I mean? Because I'm a very, you know I mean, blunt person, I say what I want to say. So back then, a lot of stuff that I say now probably wouldn't have been as popular as what it is now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just think it was the era of time. Okay. Talk to us about NASCAR. Yeah, it's my single. It's my baby right there. Uh, it's like, this, I say it's when I first really started getting back, back into the studio, that was one of the songs that uh, I came about. I just started working on and like, 
as soon as I dropped it, they gave me that feeling. And I knew for a fact, like, it was going to do something that had that, that, that vibe, that club vibe to it. And I just always wanted to stay on that club vibe because I know people like to party and dance. It was just too much, like, down music at the time. I was like, we need to bring that club back. Okay, so it was definitely a club banger. Definitely. Okay. okay. Definitely. That's exactly why I call it NASCAR. Not just because I call it NASCAR because of the things that I say in it, um, the speed of the track is an up-tempo track. Um, and, like, everything that I'm saying in it is, like, to somewhat extent from the people that I used to associate myself with. Like, everybody can relate to it. So, yeah, I love that song. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what else do you have uh, coming up? Any up-and-coming projects, tours? Um, yeah, I actually um, got a project um, on the way called You Know What the <laughs> Going On. Mm -hmm. um, it's really finished. I'm um, really just uh, waiting on the date right now. Pick out uh, a lot of dope features on there. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that. Okay. All right, can you give us... I guess a hand of who's featured on there. Uh, okay. I might I give you two, cause I know a couple of them I want to keep top secret. Okay. Um, but I know I got a, a feature from Hood Rich Pablo One on there. Okay. And I also have a feature from um, it's a singer by the name of B Smith. Uh, also got a feature from him, and um, I did a song with a couple more big names. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta, you know, stay tuned. All right. And I also got a feature with Stewie Rock too, which is you know, I mean part of my management team. You know, I manage. Okay. All right. So what else can we look forward to from you uh, in 2018? Um, Just bring the, bring the energy, bringing, I mean, the club vibe back, bringing like music that, I mean, has some type of substance to it, but at the same point in time, I mean, you can still turn up to it. I mean, it ain't just all about, I mean, music is, I, I dabble into my life inside of my music, but I don't go too deeply into it because I want, like I said, keep that party feel and a lot of stuff that I do. So, I mean, from from now on, like, as a DJ, as a former DJ, I know for a fact I can't just come with nothing crazy. Like, I got a standard, a standard to set. So, yeah, I'm coming with it. Everything okay. that I drop. Okay. So, uh, you uh, do you still DJ? I don't. You don't? Nah. So, if you got an opportunity to, you know, DJ for somebody big, would you turn it down or? Um, probably so. Because it's like, now... I feel like like I, I, I pay my dues as far as in the DJ thing. It's like, I don't want to be back around no more. Like, I got two legs, I got two feet, just like they do. So why can't can I be the artist? You feel me? So um, basically, I, just, I feel like everything I've did in the DJ, as far as like my DJing period, just got me ready for and helped me see, I mean, what it's like to be an artist. And I was able to make my decision on if I wanted to do it or not. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. Definitely going to do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Was there anything else you want to promote? Um, um, yeah, like I said, the mixtape is on the way. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at one play. Um, uh, definitely uh, shouts out to my um, my group that I just um, that I just inked to deal with, um, Commission Music. Um, shout out DJ Holiday, which is like, a uh, big part of my whole project, um, Story Rock, which is also a big part of my project. Um, yeah, like the whole team that I got behind me is a strong, like a strong, solid team, and that's important too, building that team. So, is the team that you're working with now? Is that the label that you're signed to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Commission. Um, okay. Yeah. How's, then, it, how's it like working with Holiday? It's dope. Dope. It's definitely dope because, um, like he's already been there. Like he's been there with some major people, like. Back in the day when I used to hear Gucci, I used to hear Holiday. So it's like looking back there and then looking now, it's like I'm here <laughs> with somebody who hasn't already been there. And all they're trying to do is get me at the same place everybody else at. So it's dope. Okay. So for any artists looking to, you know, get their feet in the door, what advice would you give them? Uh, my advice is uh, you got to be consistent. But at the same point in time, you got you got to know the music. Like you gotta, it has to be there. 